Hello, Carla back from Scrap and Create. So we are going to be doing page two. So here is the folio again. And this is the inside flap. This is the, we're gonna be doing page two right here. So what is going to go in this area? We are going to be building this. Now this is my prototype. Again, I always have to make things and then this is like my third or fourth, maybe fifth one. Just trying to get all the measurements right. Just using leftover, this one was leftover Christmas paper. So what we're going to be creating is this little thing. It has some gussets here so it can hold quite a bit inside here. We're going to have these flip outs that have pockets that hold a recipe card in the front. And there's going to be a recipe card in the back. So you don't have to put recipes in these flips. You can put photos if you like. Since this is a recipe album, I'm going to be adding recipe cards. I'll put that back. But that's, so we got basically four, eight, two, four, four recipes here. Then we have this side pocket. Then we have this flip out. And here's some more little pockets for recipe cards. So eight total recipe cards. We're going, and then here's another side pocket where we can put some more stuff. Probably going to be adding a, a, a pocket here also. And then we have this little insert here where we're going to be adding one of these pullouts that's going to be fitting inside here. So that's what we're going to be doing. And again, it's all self-contained. So when we put everything into this folio, Again, it'll fit in here. And I was thinking also, maybe this would be a good one to put magnets down. Just plop it in there, magnets. And if you have the recipes that you wanna take with you, you can just grab and go with this one. So that's what we're going to be doing. So first thing you're going to be doing, you're going to get two pieces of 80, 85-ish pound black card stock, and you are going to cut both of those sheets to eight and three quarter inches high. And this is still 12 inches in this direction. So sheet one, eight and three quarters inches high. Sheet two, eight and three quarter inches high. So you cut them, they're exactly the same height. Then you're going to put sheet one in the scoreboard and you are going to score at seven and seven and three eighths. So we are going to be creating a three eighth, three eighth of an inch gusset for this one. This one, we're putting in the scoreboard, 12 inches on top. We are going to be scoring this at six and three quarters and seven inches. So just a quarter of an inch gusset here. So you are going to go ahead and fold on those score lines. I am never good with these these real narrow um, gussets. I just don't know. I am just not good at those. That, and then we get this other one. I am just not good at these. And this is heavier paper too, so it's just harder for me to to get it to bend. 
that is straight. Let's check my edges there. That looks pretty straight. Originally, I tried to do this with an eighth of an inch gusset, and that was just not going to happen. So that's the hard one. Now do this one. This is some heavy duty paper. It just does not want to bend. Let's make sure I got that straight. One more. Get that straight and burnish. Okay. So sheet one. The way this is going, <laughs> it's upside down now. <laughs> The way this is going to be working, this edge, this part right here with this, this is seven inches, I believe. Yeah, so the seven inch side is going to be facing up. This is right here. So, and then we have our gussets right there. So we're gonna have that there. This side, sheet two, this shorter edge right here, which is, should be six and three quarters. Let's see, this is six. Oops, not that one, <laughs> not that one. Six and three quarters right there. So this is six and three quarters. This is seven inches. And what we are going to do, we need to create this area in between these score lines. An area that has seven inches. So we're going to get these lined up. Okay, so what I ended up doing is <laughs> putting this in my little score pal so I can keep my edge nice and straight. I got it seven inches, I believe that's seven inches all the way up and down, let's see, and down here, and seven, so that looks good. And I also have, I forgot to tell you, put a little piece of score tape on this end, this is your um, sheet one. And that way, once it's all lined up, let me get my pick tool, because I don't have any nails. And I'm just going to go ahead, get that pull. So that is in have this flap here. So this you can just put glue under. Um, this is going to go in the back side. It doesn't really matter. So I'll probably just put um, some glue under here and glue it down. So that's our base piece. And this is where we're going to be adding our pockets to. So sheet one goes on the top. So this is going to be put down. Sheet one is the front. Just so I know, and this is the top. And I'm gonna just put top. 
because I do get turned around sometimes. And this is the back side sheet two. Okay. What we're going to be doing, we will be adding magnets somewhere in here. I don't even know if I've been in frame this whole time. I am so sorry I wasn't looking. So we're going to be adding magnets in here and up in here. So that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and, and add some glue here. So this piece, this piece is actually complete. So we got our gussets, our nice um, gusset here and a gusset here, the smaller one on this side. So put this aside. Next, you are going to be cutting eight pieces. And these are going to be our pockets that hold um, our, our recipe cards. So you're going to be cutting eight of those. So you're going to be cutting a pocket, eight of these at seven and a quarter inch by three and seven eight inches high. And you're going to score, you're going to score a half an inch on three sides. So a half an inch on three sides. So you're going to do eight of those. And I've already scored and applied my tape on most of them. I got one more to do. And then you're going to cut the base that we're going to be attaching the pockets to. You're going to cut four of these. Seven inches by three and seven eighths inches long. So let me just get this one done. And just trim these so you guys all know how to do pockets. Go through the X from the bottom and then go up and that should give you a nice mitered corner right there so there's no bulk. Same thing on this side. I'm going to go on this side so probably need to do some more mitering. Oh, that one's okay. Good. And then I always do the mitering on the top where the pockets are. I think it just looks better. Now what I'm also going to do with these um, is I'm going to use my envelope punch. So these are six and oops, about six and a quarter. So uh, the center is going to be three and one eighth. So I'm going to get my envelope punch and I'm just going to do a little punching on all of these to get that little um, notch in there. So let me get my envelope punch. Now mine fell down and it's broken and I had to kind of put it back together. I ordered another one. But this is what I'm working with now. It still punches. Oh my goodness. So with the sides folded, you are going to be putting it in and pull up to three and one eighth right there. Three and one eighth and punch. And there you have your nice little center punch. So go ahead and do that for all of them. So I wanted to show you this, and some of you may already know about it, this um, black construction tape. Some of you probably know about uh, Claire uh, Cheval, Char Charville, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, from My Creative Spirit in the UK. She uses this to create her mini albums. Paul Ford, also from the UK, uses this. And we have this in our shop. And I use it all the time. I just wanted to show you 
on this little um, project that I was doing, one of my prototypes, I reinforced my little gusset here with that black construction tape, real easy to use. So I just put some on my little tiny gusset here, my one quarter of an inch gusset. I didn't want you to see me struggling to fold it again, but it's basically, once you put it on, you just re-score right, right over the tape and then you just fold it again. So I'm going to put it on this bigger gusset now just to show you guys. If you don't want to watch this, just fast forward. Um, but those of you that have this are thinking about it, I'm actually going to go on this side. So this one, this is the outside. So this one's going to be nice and smooth. I just get it lined up. This is an inch wide. So I'm going to be between five and five on this end. So I kind of get it straight. Doesn't matter, we're going to be adding um, designer paper, but over the spine, let's just put this down. So, I'm just going to get it up here. The hardest part is just getting it started. So I'm gonna start about right there and hopefully pull it down pretty straight to my five right here. Push down and then get my cutter and just cut. Pull that up. Lift this up. And then I'm just going to fold. Actually, I'm going to leave that up because I'm going to put some. Some tape from about here to down here. Am I in frame? I am not even in frame. Sorry. <laughs> to down here. Get this kind of straight. Doesn't have to be perfect, that's for sure. And we can get those wrinkles out in a little bit. Ooh, did not do a very good job down here. That's because I'm trying to show you guys how to do it. And it pulls up pretty easy and it doesn't tear the paper. So. There, that looks better. So I am just going to cut this. You do not want it sticking to itself. So I am just going to cut this down here. And get this straight. Just pull down and then this side, I'm gonna pull it up and pull this one over. And you can still see those score marks pretty well. So I'm going to put it back in the scoreboard. Let's see, get lined up. Where is my, there it is. Going to seven. And seven and three eighths. And that's, that's all there is to it. So that just, that is going to give you a lot of strength and protect from wear and tear on this little gusset here. Especially if you're gonna be using this a lot. It's real easy to do and it fixes a lot of mistakes on your mini albums too. But, so if you wanna try it out, get some. It's just play around with it. I use it. I use it a lot. I just love this stuff. So put that away. So where are we? This is the front. I'm just, just going to 
looks good. Okay, so this is the front. So inside front, middle, back. So now we're going to start applying our pockets. Let's see, we need to be doing some magnets. So I know we're going to be putting magnets up in here but we first have to get the pockets in because we're going to be putting our magnets in underneath this designer paper somewhere around here, right there, and right here. And then we have magnets on the under this paper right here. But we haven't even made this part yet, so. But we haven't put any designer paper, so it doesn't really matter. So let's get started. So we're going to be putting our first pocket down at the very bottom, at the edge here, aligned to this edge. So that's where we're going to start with this bottom pocket. And I always need this just to kind of keep me going, keep me on track and figure out what I'm doing. So building prototypes, those are the fun ones. So let's see, get a pocket. And then you need a base. So we got a base and our pocket. So now on this one, on this side, we are going to be having our base here and here we're going to be having our hinge right here. So this is swinging, swinging off of a hinge right underneath here. Just wanted to make sure it was recording. Yes, yes. But we're not going to score the hinge until we get our pocket on. So let's get this pocket on. Let me move this out of the way. First, let's put our pocket on this base piece. So you are going to adhere this all the way to the right of the base and then flush with the bottom. So let's see if I can do this without screwing up because I tend to do that. So what I want to do is just, it's already been I've got score tape all around it. So I just need to pull that score tape out. So let me get this lined up again. Black on black, never easy to see. Get my hook tool. Oops, something just, oh, my scissors just fell out. And pull this out, get this. Come on, guys. Okay, that's down over there, and then just slowly pull this out. There we go. Now, for these pockets, you guys probably already know about this, but for this album, you really need to be doing this because you're going to be sliding those recipe into this pocket and you don't want them to come up against that that bump when you're putting stuff in you do not want it hitting there you want it to slide over so get your good old scotch tape and we're going to just put their scotch tape down from here to there So now you're, you're just going to slide right in. So then we're going to pull these guys. And make this pocket. Back, push 
this down. So we still have this edge over here that we're going to eventually score, but first we're gonna put on our other pocket. Remember we have a pocket uh, on the front, have a pocket on the front, and we have a pocket on the back. So get another one. Be mindful of where your flap is. So you do not put your pocket way over on this side, right? Because that's your flap. So you need to move this one over to the left side, the opposite side. Same thing, you're going to adhere it to the bottom and flush to this end of the pocket over here. So it's just right behind the other pocket, right behind the other pocket. A set of pockets that you cannot see because they're black on black. So now I'm going to get my scoreboard and I don't know if you can see this. So here is the edge right here. So we are going to, depending on where you put your pocket, you may be able to squirt right at six and a quarter. You may need to push this up a little bit to get it to squirt. Let's, see, let's do this on this end. So you can see exactly where you need. So on this side, I cannot squirt at six and a quarter. I'm gonna to have to go up to the next one up. So make sure you check both of your pockets because you don't want to you want to make sure both pockets are clearing that score mark. So where's my, there it is. So I'm going to go right there. It's the one right over one and a quarter. There it is. So which one, which way do I want it to go? I want this one in the front. So what I'm going to do This one is going to be adhered all the way down at the bottom, flush to the bottom edge and flush to this edge. You want to make sure it's not over here because then it won't be able to open up because this is your flap. Uh, and we're going to be um, adding designer paper, so we'll be covering up this flap. I don't think I need to miter it. Might miter this one at the bottom. I'll just miter them just in case. Just a little bit. So put my score tape down there. Ah, oh, hmm, yeah, okay, never mind gonna say oh yes I see what I did no I don't so where is my burnisher right here so okay let's get it started oh my gosh Get this flush to the bottom again. Get it straight all over to the side so it's flush to the side. Got that. And I think we're good to 
go and pull. Wasn't that painful? <laughs> painful, painful. I won't make you watch the other side. <laughs> um, so we got that one in. Now with these, we're just gonna put in our recipe cards just so we get a night appreciation of the height. So we know what the height's going to be. So there it is, that you, that you can see. So for our next one, let me get this out of the way. We're going to put another two pockets on another base. Once again, we're going to have our flap out to, our flap is going to be on this edge. So I'm going to start with my pocket over here like this with the flap over on this side. So same thing, line it up. Now this one, and then we're just gonna put it on our, oh yeah, we gotta, do our scoring for that flap. Okay, so we got this one on. Put it in our scoreboard. Let's see, this is going to be there again. Put that up. What about this side? Does it clear this side? So I am going to put it, put this edge right up to this nub right here, just so I get a closer score right there. There we go. That's okay. Yep, that's okay. So now this one, the placement for this one. You have to put your card in because you need to see how far it sticks up. So we're gonna get our card in. What I like to do, or what I did on my prototype so they're consistent, I adhered this so the top of this pocket was one inch from the top. And where, oh my God, look at that. It's one inch, exactly right there. I've got it on the first time. Now we're gonna go to the other side. And basically you're going to do the same thing. You're going to get a pocket and a base. And remember this time your, your hinge, oops. Yes, you're going to be making sure your flap, your hinge is on this side. So we're going to be adhering our pocket over here. Okay, get a net, another pocket. Okay, let's see, where is our pocket on this side? So it's, it's over here, so this is our hinge. So we're going to be fixing this one over on this side. Okay, got that in. 
now put it in our scoreboard. Let's see, this is right there, and is that going to clear it on this side? Yes, so this is the smaller side, so I'm going to score it right there at three quarters. I like to get I like to get the line the line of this border right here and then I'm going to score it right there. And so I have something to kind of line it up and then this is straight here. So score that. And then we have our flap, our first flap on this side so that's going to go here like this There. I got that. Let me get some recipe cards for you. Let's get my pack of recipe cards. These are so thick. You'd swear there's like at least two cards in here. Oh my god. I got some other cards because <laughs> these are like paper thing. I mean, they're like 20 grams. I mean, 20 pounds. This not moving anywhere. So. Get that in there. There. Okay, last last set. Same thing. Um, I want to Our last pocket. So again, be mindful of which side your pockets are on. They're gonna be on this side. So it's time to put it in the scoreboard and let's see, where is it going to land? A little bit right here, make sure this one clears, yes. So I'm going to put my edge right up to that mark again and get this straight and score there. So I need a recipe card, put that recipe card so I can figure out where my one inch is. Look at all this mess, just push the mess to the side. So find the one inch from the top of the the um, base right here to the top of this pocket. 
So that's one inch right there. That looks straight. That looks pretty good. Okay. Burnish that down. Ooh, got those in. Oh, okay, I'm gonna um, stop and kind of clean up and then come back. Okay, so we have our recipe flaps in and put the recipe cards back of he back here. The other thing I did with these recipe cards is I just rounded the bottoms, the bottom edges, just to make them easier to, to just slip in there. So there and there. So now what we have left to do on underneath where we have these recipe card flaps, we're going to be putting these pockets. We have these long pockets. So you're going to cut two pieces at nine and five eighths inches long by three and three quarters. And you will be scoring it on these three sides. And I went ahead and put my, scored it and put my score tape on. So let me just um, miter corners here. Cut through that X. Now we just make sure they are okay. Keep that bulk out. That's okay. And then I always do the the top of my pockets. So these are going to be fitting. You're going to make sure you do not go over your, your um, score line here. So they're going to be fitted right up to that score line, just to the right of it here. Line it top to bottom and get that, that tape pulled. Where's my feeder? So we got it. Lined up top to bottom. Got a little space before our, our score line here. Going to go ahead and pull that. Don't know where my other bone folder is, but use this and get, get that scotch tape. And then basically we do the same thing on the other side underneath this flap. Going to be putting this up to that first score line. So same thing, line it up. folders here. Get this kind of cleaned up. So now we're going to be making the pocket page. So we're going to have, let's see if I get that all the way down. Yeah. We're going to be having a, a pocket page on this back flap here. 
So here's here's this side here. You turn it over here. This is well, the one with the small gusset here. You are going to be cutting a piece nine and three quarters by six and three quarters, scoring it on three sides. And I already added my score tape and burnished it. So let me just miter those corners. So going to go ahead and put this on. So this is going to be facing, the pocket is going to be facing it in this direction. So I'm going to open this up like this. Pull these flaps out so I can have a flatter surface. And going to be, oh, now I don't even, I've got to get my orientation right. So yeah. The opening is towards here, towards the end. So I'm gonna get this lined up. So again, top to bottom, and get that close to the edge, but a little bit away from it. Okay, that's, that's good. Get my leader. Here. So we have this, so now I got to put our scotch tape on this. And hopefully, I'm going to have enough room. So now what we're going to do is we are going to, yeah, we will. We are going to make an insert. So now we're going to make the insert for this little pocket piece that we just placed on. So you're going to cut a piece. You're going to get a 12 by 12. You're going to it's going to be 12 by eight and a half, 12 by eight and a half. I can never find my, my camera, where are you? 12 by eight and a half. And then you're going to score it at five and a quarter. Let's fold it on that score line. And what I like to do is get my envelope punch to make this little tag. So I think I cut in uh, at two inches. Let me see. So I punched it at two on this side and then flipped it over and did two on this side. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me get my rickety punch. Now I've got to put this back together. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So we got, let's just make sure it even fits in our, our flap before I start doing all this. I'm sure it does. Yeah. Okay. So now, with it's folded like that. So it's folded like this. So on this long edge, this is where we're going to put it in our punch. So I'm going to do two inches here. Punch. And flip it around and do two inches here and then have to cut off these little bits so 
So I'm going to go to my trimmer. And basically you just go to that valley and you just cut straight across like this on both sides. So I'm just gonna be cutting straight down from here, straight down here, and I'll be right back. So I got it cut and I ended up doing two and a half instead of two just because I, I actually messed up. So I had to go a little bit more in. So it's, it's two and a half. Um, but you do whatever you like. You may not even want to be using this. You can just use the, the straight part of the card sticking out if you like. So that's going to fit in here. And since you can't see it, since it's black on black, you can't even see it. So what it's going to look like Here's our one with all the colors. It's going to be sticking out, not quite as much as this, but something like, like that. So we have our two pockets. We have our center, our side pocket. We have the two pockets over here. And then we have this big pocket with our insert. So we have everything done. Now back in here, once everything is decorated, I'm going to put some paper back on here. We'll figure out if we're going to be putting a big pocket in here. Um, but for now, this is done. We still need to obviously decorate it. Oh, I need to put my magnets. Yes. <laughs> but we're not going to be putting magnets till we get our designer paper anyway. Um, let me just write it down. So I already wrote down Mag and Mag here so I don't forget. And then there's going to be the corresponding magnets somewhere around here. And here. So hopefully I won't forget before I put on my designer paper. So this guy is done and is ready to be um, decorated. 